I'm living the scrap dream. Woo! <laughs> before I get my day started here. Actually running out of running out of time to get Mickey to the yard. Somebody dumped these off on the front grass right here. Mercury 9.8 horsepower. And Evan Mood. That looks old. That looks like something from the 60s or something. <clears throat> Little old bird motors. Uh, the scrapyard won't buy them. No engines anymore. <clears throat> so, no refrigerators. And now, no engines. No engines, no lawnmowers. If the lawnmower's got an engine on it, nope. No can of do. That's their latest restriction. They don't, they don't want weed whackers, lawnmowers, riding tractors. The, the list of stuff that they're restricting you bringing there is growing by the day. I mean, basically, it's coming down to a washing machine, a dryer, and uh, a water heater, and just various loose scrap. I gotta grab that wagon. Oh, you can't see it because all the stuff on the dash. That wagon right there. Before that lady changes her mind. Which will happen eventually, I guess. I don't want the, the neighbor seeing me dragging it home, so I think you're gonna bring it around this way bring it around this way and I'm going to cut through that neighbor's backyard and then go into my yard. <clears throat> I've been planning it in my head. I get my yard tractor going and I don't know who dropped those uh, motors off though. It's like the scrap fairy stops by and sprinkles scrap on the um, right in front of my curb right there. Oh, I'm not complaining. Cancel cam, you know, like when the steering wheel returns back, it doesn't shut the turn signal off, it just keeps going. You have, you have to remind yourself to manually shut it off. Or I could be traveling like a 88 year old man, like with the turn signal going for miles and miles. Clearing the neighborhood before I leave to go to the compound and make sure that my own neighborhood doesn't have any scrap laying around in it. You know, don't want to encourage other scrappers to come around hunt, hunting scraps in my neighborhood. I want to make sure it's dry all the time, like it's a dry hole. Like, yeah, yeah, you can drive around here, but it's going to be a waste of your time. Phew! <laughs> Got a couple of rotors in the, in 
the shopping cart with a trolley. pads were worn down like the material actually fell off. Look at that. Either that or the vehicle had been sitting so long that the friction material separated from the steel. Edwards. An old Chevy door. It's not even rusted out on the bottom. It's from Missouri, which is like, I don't know, 200 and something miles away. So less rust the further south you go. An all aluminum truck door. I always thought trucks were made out of steel, like a long time ago. I used to think that they were made out of steel, but trucks haven't been made out of steel for ages. Aluminum and fiberglass mostly. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, a mishmash of aluminum and steel. making it easier to handle. Ooh, copper. That's really heavy gauge copper too. Like the old kind. Actually, what's in here looks too heavy to lift up with one hand. emptied out the white pickup truck kind of except for this mishmash on the very bottom <laughs> and added it to uh, the stuff that I found so I can go to the scrapyard Eww, right see you in the next video that was easy right I went from being like halfway full to being completely filled with scraps Here's that piece of copper that I found. I broke it into two pieces. So it's registering zero. Let's go. That's a good two pounds, thereabouts. That's worth about what, 750?